there is one way to even increase more uh, the global cycle efficiency uh, than performing only uh, stage expansion with intermediate reheating is by performing extractions uh, during the expansion uh, on the cycle in order to preheat uh, the fluid uh, that is uh, going uh, out uh, to, to preheat uh, the fluid after condensation and uh, before the vapor generator. So usually uh, performing this extraction uh, is uh, quite expensive in terms of uh, setup the, during the uh, construction of the facility. So we will do that only uh, for very big facilities uh, when uh, we uh, we agree uh, to pay more as investment cost uh, in order uh, to uh, have a better efficiency and, and so a better income when using uh, the facility later. So uh, that means uh, that the cycles with, uh, with extraction are only found uh, when we already have a stage expansion uh, with at least two but usually three uh, oh. stages uh, of expansion with uh, high pressure, middle pressure and low pressure turbine. Here, in, in order to explain uh, what is the principle of the extraction and uh, in order to have a schematic that is not too complica uh, complicated, I have chosen to show uh, these extractions with a more simple cycle with only one stage turbine and with three extraction during the expansion. So, uh, here we have uh, a heon cycle, so the, uh, the vapor is superheated and at high pressure at the inlet of the turbine and uh, it's going out at low pressure at uh, outlet B uh, of this turbine before going to the condenser. What is happening is that we have three uh, extraction and uh, usually uh, these extraction are numbered from the outlet to the inlet so it's S1, S2 and S3 and uh, this extraction corresponds to a given point of uh, this turbine. In order to understand, we need to understand that uh, even one stage of turbine is made of uh, different substage uh, where we have a succession of a fixed uh, stage and a rotating uh, uh, blade uh, stage and we have this succession of many uh, different uh, substages into a one stage turbine and uh, this extraction will be performed between uh, um, two following uh, substages of the turbine and uh, this extraction will thus be uh, performed at uh, intermediate uh, pressure during the expansion. So we now have uh, for this example five pressure levels. The high pressure will be A, the low pressure will be a pressure of point B and we have three intermediate pressure which are PS1, PS2 and PS3. Then when we do extraction so uh, the mass flow rates are different depending on where we are uh, inside uh, the cycle. The total mass flow rate, flow rate is the one uh, entering uh, the, uh, the turbine, so at point A. But uh, at point B, uh, we don't have uh, all the mass flow rate uh, of fluid that is left because uh, some of it uh, was extracted uh, with the extraction. So uh, here we have usually for each extraction a small percentage of the flow rate that is extracted and then uh, the remaining flow rate uh, which is usually something like 80% uh, uh, or 90% of the total flow rate will be remaining in point B. So what is remaining in point B will be fully condensed until a point called C1. C1 corresponds to the uh, saturated liquid at low pressure uh, as usual at the outlet of the condenser. Then uh, this uh, saturated liquid uh, will go through a first pump and here we can see that we now have 
four different pumps in order to go step by step to each pressure level. Uh, so uh, the pressure of the liquid will be increased until uh, the pressure of uh, extraction S1. And so that will correspond uh, to a point D1 which is uh, here also liquid. Then the fluid coming from D1 will be mixed with uh, the fluid that is extracted uh, at S1 and uh, the specific enthalpy of what we have from S1 is much higher than what we have in D1. In fact, uh, uh, this mixture will allow uh, to increase uh, the specific enthalpy of the mixture that we have uh, at point C2. And then we have the, the expectation of uh, w uh, pumps, so we increase from C2 to D2 uh, the pressure uh, that corresponds from pressure of S1 to pressure of uh, extraction S2, then we mix again until C3, then we have the third uh, pump until the pressure of S3 at which we have point D3, uh, it will be mixed with the extraction from S3, uh, so here we can add the arrows, and uh, the mixture will correspond to point C4. And finally, the last uh, pump uh, will be uh, used in order to increase the pressure until the high pressure of the system, and uh, this would correspond to point D4. D4, oh, something is missing here, sorry. D4 uh, corresponds to the fluid uh, that will go to the vapor generator. So here we have the heat transfer in the uh, vapor generator that corresponds to the heat exchange uh, with the hot source, but because uh, uh, the fluid did receive some enthalpy from the mixture with the the, the different extractions, uh, there will be less, uh, less uh, heat to be received in the vapor generator uh, in order to, uh, to heat and evaporate the fluid uh, until uh, point A, which corresponds to the inlet of the turbine. So that's uh, the working principle of the heat cycle with extraction. Maybe we can just add on this schematic the pressure we have on the different lines, so uh, that corresponds to high pressure at the inlet of the turbine, low pressure at the outlet, and here on these uh, three lines uh, we have the pr pressure of extraction S1, here on these three lines the pressure of extraction S2, and here on these three lines the pressure of extraction S2. Uh, three. And after the last pump, we have again the high pressure of the cycle.